what is up guys JPR Tech here and this is the Puerto Rican living in Japan talking about tech photography videography life hacks and DIYs and everything in between now if you're into any of that hit the little subscribe button for future videos and hit the little bell to let you know for my future videos but today do I have a review for you guys it's gonna be a short one but do you guys think that a $5 LED strap LED light stripe blah, blah, blah. so do you guys think that a $5 LED stripe light is worth purchasing well let's see what yes the LED lights that you see in the back of my monitor is a 2 meters or a 6.5 feet LED strip light that I got from the dollar store in Daiso here in Japan. This is a recent product that I noticed just appear in Daiso, the, which is, if you didn't know, these are our dollar stores in uh, here in Japan. But trust me, the dollar stores in Japan are amazing. We got Daiso, Seria, those are my two top favorite dollar stores, and there are probably other names out there for different chains, but those are the two top chains in Japan and they have different routes. You know, Daiso is more of a house projects, DIYs, and it's not as organized and as neat as Seria. Seria is more of a really modern and minimalistic looking. So it's pretty amazing that we could find pretty decent quality and just good looking stuff in the dollar store here in Japan. It's just really awesome. But anyway, guys, we want to talk about the LED strip light and is, is it worth $5? The answer is a little bit more complicated than you might think because yes, of course, for me personally, I love it. But I'm going to tell you why I love it so much. And later, we'll talk about why you might consider getting a more expensive $30, $40 LED strip light. So going over some of the cons of this product is that it's USB power, so you could basically power it easily with anything, even a power bank, just when you ever you need lights on to decorate something, your videos, and just use a power bank, anything can power these babies up. And as you can see, the light is pretty constant, doesn't flicker. I'm pretty surprised about that. I, I was expecting a lot of flickering, but I, has, I haven't seen a flicker at all, so, that is kudos for this. Now the build quality is pretty stiff. The cable itself, the strip itself is nice and uh, well built. It's rugged, it's thick and gummy and rubbery like. So I know it's gonna last quite a bit. It has connections that you can cut in between and strip and whatever you need to do. Maybe even extend it a little bit more. Uh, you could possibly do that. Now I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna try it because I'm a terrible soldier. I can't sold for the life of me. So I'm just gonna leave it at it as it is. Now this comes in two sizes. They have the two meter one, which I got for $5. And then they have the one meter, which is half the length. It's a little bit cho shorter, but still a three foot light LED strip light is pretty reasonable, especially when you consider the price is actually 300 yen. So for the half price, half size, but the good thing about the one meter one is that you actually get more color choices. The two meter one only comes in white and one white and more on that later <laughs> on the video on the cons. But uh, those are the only two colors you get. And uh, on the one meter one, you actually get uh, other colors such as blue, red, warm white and the cool white. So. They don't have any RGBs, that's unfortunate. I was looking for it. I was even willing to pay 1,000 yen, you know, $10 for that strip, but they don't make that. Those are the pros of having this LED strip light. You could decorate the background for cheap. You know, if you're a starting YouTuber, you don't want to pay up 50, 80, $90 for like huge light, then, you know, five dollars and you have a pretty decent background for your youtube videos which will unfortunately <laughs> looks are important in youtube so people care about backgrounds and whatnot and if you look kind of professional then they'll possibly stick around till the end of the video hopefully you guys are still here <laughs> right now in the video because we're about to get to the cons of getting a cheap led strip light 
Now the Pros again, it's just, it's cheap, well built, it's long, and yeah, you got color choice. Um, it has a dual side tape, so you could just strip it and stick it anywhere you want and it's ready to go. Now some of the cons, let's start with the light, the colors. Um, as you can see behind me, it's kind of bluish. We got the white one, but it's not white. That is not white, I'm sorry. It looks kind of blue, almost purplish. And that's what you get when you buy cheap LED lights. Now again, you gotta keep in mind that this thing only costs $5. It's actually cheaper than a value meal set from McDonald's. You can actually save money, keep your way down by going with a cheap LED strip light. Uh, so yeah, that's one of the cons. Color is off. You're not gonna get color aggressive, but we could try to fix that in post, or you could just accept the fact that it's a blue purplish light and just leave it at that. Another con is the tape, the dual side tape. I don't think it's gonna hold that long because it, it was sticky, it's holding in place, but when I turned it to go around my monitor, it's kind of peeling off on the edges, so I'm sure it's gonna peel away pretty soon in time but i do have extra dual sided tape so if it ever gets weak i can just retape it again but it's just an inconvenience for purchasing something so cheap you get what you pay for we are nitpicking right now but the last con that i found is that the usb power cable is really short and it doesn't have a switch a power switch to turn on and off so you plug it in and it's on constantly. So the only way I turn it off is just unplugging it from my USB hub. Now that's just a minor inconvenience, but you know, for $5, I'll take all the pros over the cons any day of the week. Guys, if you guys like what you see, a $5 LED strip light, what do you guys think? A uh, beginner YouTubers, sh is it worth shelling out money for more expensive lights or just do with what you have. Like right now, I'm using my Canon EOS M as my A cam, which is like a $100 raw camera. I got an Amazon Fire HD monitoring the screen for my Canon, which again is like a $40 tablet. And then next to that is my DIY light that I have a video in my YouTube channel that's a shameless plug. But anyway, it's a DIY, it's pretty convenient. It's a soft light DIY, it's free, made out of recycled materials in my house. If you guys think that it's worth going through the effort of just doing things and uh, buy yourself DIY, hack your way, uh, ghetto up YouTube, but still get videos on, then hey, smash that like button. Don't forget to share, subscribe, and yeah, that's it for today. So happy shootings. See you in the next one.